Hi, I'm Ray, G4 NSJ. Just a quick video. Interference, unbelievable interference. Most of us suffer interference of some form or other at one time or another, if not all the time. Interference here at my QTH on the south coast of England. It's just my area. It's not the south, but it's everywhere, isn't it? It's blanket over the whole country, I think. Unless you live in a farm somewhere out in the sticks where your nearest neighbour's about 1,500 miles away, <laughs> you've got some form of interference, probably from your own house. I have just discovered the source of some interference that's been plaguing me for some time now. It's awful. It's on 176 kilohertz, or thereabouts. It's kind of spread around 176 kilohertz, okay? Which, all right, you might think, well, there's not much there. Just don't worry about that. Most of HF is fine, so it doesn't affect that. But this is particularly loud. You'll see in a minute, or hear in a minute, and see. Particularly loud. What is it? You have a little listen to this. See what you think. I have never heard anything like that in my life. Is it a motor? I thought it was a treadmill. Wife's got a treadmill out in her uh, gym at the end of the garden. And she, when she does this on the treadmill with her feet, you can hear on, on um, four meters, amateur band, brr, 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 as she's doing that. I thought it was a treadmill. It doesn't seem to be a treadmill. I searched everywhere. I've got my little radio. I'm going around trying to track it down. I did track it down. It's in here. It's in my radio room. <laughs> I'll switch it off, right? And you see what happens when I switch it off. It doesn't just kill it. It kind of has a slow death. Listen to this. Okay, any ideas? <laughs> I hadn't got a clue. I thought it was mechanical. It's got to be a motor, something mechanical. No, it's nothing mechanical. My computer monitor, no, it's not the monitor, computer monitor, has a separate power supply, one of these little ones. Plug it in the mains, that end. Plug your monitor, low voltage lead in that end. It's that power supply. The little power, I don't understand it. Is there a motor in it? <laughs> no, of course there's not. But when you switch it off, when I switch the power supply off, this is with the monitor off, by the way, because when you turn the monitor off, it doesn't switch the power supply off, doesn't cut that from the mains. When you switch it off, you think it would just cut, but no, it's got that long, slow, painful death. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? I just thought I'd let you see that, because I'll hear that. That was on my Raykel, by the way, the new Raykel, well, new, <laughs> it's 50 years old. RA1772, communications receiver, beautiful bit of kit. It's installed over there, pride of place. But I was tuning around, I like VLF, I was tuning around down to, it'll go down to about 12 kilohertz. And I thought, what is this on 176, or there around 176? What on earth's that? What have they got next door? A motor or something? What is going on? And it's my power supply. Honestly, the amount of interference these days. A friend of mine, uh, a couple of years ago, two meters two meter amateur band wiped out he's tracking it down everywhere a neighbor a few doors along battery charger in his garage he was just charging a battery that's what it was two or three doors along i mean what is wrong with all i don't know it shouldn't be allowed actually it should not be allowed the chinese should be taken to task as they say in the old days they shouldn't be allowed to produce equipment that wipes out stuff like this. OK, most people don't listen on 176 kilohertz, do they? Most people don't listen to HF, VHF, UHF, any amateur band stuff. Most people aren't bothered with that. But a lot of us are. And it's just not fair. I, I think it's atrocious. I was listening to Ostend radio on 2761 kilohertz uh, the other day. They transmit uh, navigation warning and stuff like that every four hours. And I got them, lovely signal, big signal. 
halfway through their transmission, wiped out by an even bigger interference signal. Absolutely wiped out the whole trawler band, as it used to be called. It remembers that. Awful. There we are. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that interesting. So if you've got some interference, don't rule out anything. It could literally be anything. It could be your fridge talking to the internet <laughs> or your washing machine contacting Amazon and saying I've run out of washing powder. I don't know. I don't know. Unhappy days. I don't like this. It's dreadful. I won't moan anymore. Good DX. If you can hear any DX that is over the noise. See you next time. Bye bye for now.